For in the days either side of New Year, Ukraine was hit by missiles of non-Russian origin, causing considerable disquiet in the Western governments and media. The country that has supplied Russia with the new weaponry is about as far removed physically as it is possible to be from the war in Ukraine. That country is, of course, North Korea. On the 29th of December 2023, Russia made the largest missile and rocket attack against Ukraine of the entire war, with at least 122 crews and ballistic missiles used, as well as 36 drones, claiming the lives of 57 people and injuring 160 others. 18 Russian strategic bombers, including 9 Tu-95M Bear bombers, launched the cruise missiles, but among the ballistic missiles was something not seen before, North Korean weapons. A further missile assault was made on the 2nd of January 2024 when Bear bombers launched 70 cruise missiles and MiG-31K strategic bombers launched 10 Kh-47M2 missiles. Fifteen ballistic missiles of various types also struck targets in Ukraine, the raid killing six and injuring 119. North Korea is a major weapons manufacturer, and it has become clear that some kind of deal has been done between Vladimir Putin and Kim Jong-un. Details of that deal remain sketchy, but it has been proving lucrative to both parties. The North Korean weapons that have been identified in Ukraine are short-range ballistic missiles. These are not simply clones of older Soviet technology, which is common in North Korea, but new systems developed indigenously by the North Koreans for use in any future conflict on the Korean peninsula. The Pentagon has identified the missiles as belonging to two distinct systems, the KN-23 and KN-25. The KN-23, formerly called the Hwasong-11 Ga, has some similarities to the Russian Iskander-M missile, but also has some distinct differences. Like the Iskander, it flies what is called a quasi-ballistic trajectory, flattening out below an altitude of about 50 kilometers or 160,000 feet, and has an estimated range of 450 kilometers or about 280 miles, with a 500 kilogram warhead, though it can carry heavier warheads for reduced range. The warhead can be conventional or even nuclear. This missile is launched from a wheel transporter erector launcher. It entered North Korean service in 2019 and has been shown on North Korean television being launched from armored trains as well as wheeled launchers. Accuracy is pretty good. Using only its inertial navigation system, it is believed to be capable of striking within 200 meters of the target, reducing to 100 meters with satellite assistance. Because the missile flies on a lower apogee and has a short flight time, it is difficult to detect and shoot down. An unknown number of North Korean ballistic missiles were transferred to Russia in October 2023. The large Russian missile strike on Kharkiv and other targets December 2023 resulted in the ring housing the central veins of a KN-23 being found among the debris, confirming North Korea's involvement. Incredibly, North Korean personnel came with the missiles to Russia to help train Russian crews and may have actually been involved in the launching of the attacks of December 2023. The second suspected North Korean ballistic missile system that has been tentatively identified in Ukraine is the KN-25, a super-large caliber multiple launch rocket system. The 600mm caliber missiles fly on a controlled ballistic trajectory, each missile 8.2 meters long and weighing 3 tons. The guidance system is unknown. They are mounted in either a 4-tube Tatra 813 8x8 wheel transporter erector launcher or a tracked 6-tube version. Operational range is 380 kilometers or 240 miles, with each missile having an estimated 300 kilogram payload with an accuracy of 80 to 90 meters. 
North Korea has also been supplying Russia with millions of artillery shells in return for undisclosed technology, perhaps more advanced Russian aircraft or drones or tanks. You take your pick. For North Korea, supplying its homegrown missiles to an active war allows it to gain valuable performance data to help it establish their effectiveness if used en masse in any future conflict with South Korea and the United States. U.S. intelligence has noted that around 2,000 shipping containers of artillery shells, small arms and other weapons, including artillery systems and mortars and anti-tank weapons, have been shipped from Rezon in North Korea to Russia, and including amongst those shipments are of course several ballistic missiles. Kim Jong-un has also ordered that weapons production be increased, without mentioning Russia. But an arms deal with Russia is certainly a win-win situation for North Korea. The intelligence value of data from North Korean missiles being used offensively against an enemy like Ukraine, with its array of many NATO-supplied air defense systems, will prove extremely enlightening to Pyongyang strategists, knowing that South Korea, Japan, and of course the US are basically using these same systems. Many thanks for watching, please subscribe and share, and also visit my audiobook channel, War Stories with Mark Felton. You can also help to support both of my channels at PayPal and Patreon, details in the description box below.